The woodpecker was calmly looking for larvae in the bark when a huge snake attacked him from a hollow. Only the reptile's head is like half the bird. But the snake messed with the wrong one. The woodpecker was not only not afraid, but also began to peck at the enemy with his beak. And now we will show you other cases when birds demonstrated unexpected fighting qualities and courage. Many birds build nests in trees, but there are species that settle on the ground. If you think that this is stupid and the birds are defenseless there, then now you will understand your mistake. These birds can explain to anyone that they keep this area right here, and they do not need uninvited guests. Small, not the strongest, and not armed with some impressive claws of birds are plovers. They are one of the most aggressive birds when it comes to protecting their nests. They can afford to build nests on the ground simply because they protect the laying from anyone. Did the heron not realize that she got too close to the eggs? No problem, a few painful blows, and the larger bird flies away in shock. Was some sort of lizard too close and able to threaten the nest? Well, now she will regret it that she was born at all. A snake or a daytime bird of prey like a falcon, everyone will receive their portion of blows. They don't know who they're messing with when they get too close to the plover's nest. The secret of the plover's success is teamwork. Both parents swoop in on any alien from different sides, stun with pressure, and peck again and again until the nest is safe. They are not capable of causing serious damage to a large enemy, but since the birds attack even before their nest is found, the victim of the attack simply does not understand what is happening and runs away as soon as possible, just so that these scumbags stop attacking. For the sake of protecting the eggs, plovers can attack an animal 10 times larger than themselves. It is known that crows are the smartest birds. But this individual clearly uses its intelligence for more selfish purposes than its fellow birds. When the lens caught a unique case of a crow using a huge eagle as a taxi, it was difficult for many people to believe in such impudence of a black feathered one. But it turned out to be true. The daytime predator is also in shock. He did not expect that he would be giving a ride to a bird that, under other circumstances, could have become his prey. But whether the crow is doing this well with communication or the eagle is in a hurry somewhere and doesn't want to waste time on disassembly with a more maneuverable and cheeky feathered friend, the result is known. For quite a long time, the crow really flew astride the eagle. However, perhaps the eagle just does not want to get involved with this feathered friend. After all, the crows know a lot about mutual assistance. Who knows how many friends this cheeky little bird has? Even a huge eagle will not allow himself to get involved with a whole flock of crows. He could be stronger than his opponent several times more, but against one enemy, the enemy can put up a dozen. In such an aerial battle, the eagle cannot resist. Constant attacks from different sides will weaken it and force it to retreat. And this is at best. For the sake of protecting their own kind, many crows simply just despise danger. I agree. Such courage is worthy of your like, isn't it? And crows are also very good at assessing the strength of the enemy and know when courage can be more effective than physical strength. Just look at this frightening scene right here. The raven simply suppresses the owl and intimidates the nocturnal predator. The owl just didn't know that this roof already belongs to some sort of black gangster, but apparently they will clearly explain to her what's what. The crow is slowly advancing and seems to be deliberately playing on the emotions of the frightened owl. It's croaking, spreading its wings, moving slowly and deliberately straightforwardly to make the maximum impression on its enemy. At the same time, the smart black bird avoids a real fight. It's strong enough to defeat the owl, but can get accidentally wounded by the sharp claws of its opponent. So instead of violence, the crow uses intimidation. And something tells me that the owl will never come back to this ledge ever again. The slender-legged and elegant heron is often underestimated. It walks impressively along the shore of the reservoir, does not make any sudden movements, looks harmless, 
But this is all a front. In front of you is a formidable predator. Its neighbors obviously regretted contacting him. The heron attacks with lightning speed and grabs someone else's chicken before its parents have time to do anything about it. Honestly, it seems that their beak is suitable only for catching small fish, but this rabbit thought the same thing and made a fatal mistake when it got too close to the heron. The bird struck a crushing blow right in the throat of the big-eared animal. The heron's beak worked like a sword and the small fluffy paws did not touch this hunter at all. The toucan is one of the most famous tropical birds. Thanks to their unusual appearance and to the combination of noble black plumage with the bright color of a huge beak, they have gained a reputation as cute little birds that symbolize the diversity of the animal world in the jungle. But wildlife lovers did not know who they were messing with. When the way of life of toucans began to be steadied, people were shocked just by how brutal the hunter turned out to be. The toucan uses its large beak, which is only slightly inferior in length to the entire body of the bird, as a crushing weapon. At the same time, a sword, a hammer, and pincers. And this parrot underestimates the toucan, apparently watching a tropical relative of the woodpecker eat some sort of fruit. The parrot let him get too close, and he paid for it. One powerful blow, and another feathered symbol of the tropics becomes a victim of the toucan. And did these birds actually ruin other people's nests and attack their chicks? Moreover, the toucan is not limited to other feathered ones. They really eat plant food, but they also like meat, and they will never refuse to attack other mammals. This bat became a snack for the aggressive toucan, which dealt with the victim with a few neat blows with the sharp tip of its beak. Cats are dangerous predators for birds that catch urban birds even on the fly. But this cat didn't know who she was messing with when she decided to sneak up on the owl. The feathered predator did not retreat. Instead, the owl instantly spread its wings and made its feathers on its head, back and tail stand on end. The cat is in shock. The bird that she could try to overcome has suddenly increased three times. This tactic is a typical defense technique of owls and some other birds. Maybe it looks more funny than threatening to the human eye, but it worked on the cat. It had to abandon its aggressive intentions. Once the snake noticed the two birds, it prepared to attack. After all, these are not eagles. What are they capable of? But it turned out that this kind of cuckoo is not the kind of birds that should be messed with. They do not care about reptile venom at all. They didn't even give it a chance to use their weapons when they cleverly attacked the enemy from different sides. One bird grabbed by the tail, the other by the head, and in such a way as to avoid the risk of being bitten. That's it. Two birds dealt with a poisonous snake in less than a minute. There are two things that you can always look at. The way the fire burns, the way the water flows, and how the crane chases two tigers around an enclosure as if they were naughty little kittens. Just to look at how the attempts of these striped cats ended up remembering their hunting instincts. The crane immediately showed that they had contacted the wrong opponent. It didn't hesitate for a second and instantly launched a counterattack at the first signs of unhealthy curiosity on the part of carnivorous beasts. Just look at how the crane uses all its advantages in a fight with tigers. Each predator is about 25 times larger than the bird. But the crane spreads its huge wings, aggressively advances, and threatens with its long, sharp beak. It's as if a German shepherd could beat two hippopotamuses. The complete advantage in physical strength and the strengths of the opponent for the crane is nothing. It chases the adult predatory cats, the biggest panthers in the world, and they just turn away from him in a panic. It's almost as if the bird is just having fun and mocking the confused and humiliated large predators. While they can be understood, a well-aimed blow to the head could deprive a tiger of its eye. But all the same, the forces of these opponents are incomparable. With one blow of the paw, the tiger could sweep away the feathered aggressor and immediately have a snack after that. But no, the strength of character in this fight is clearly unequivocally on the side of the bird. 
which pursues its opponents until it gets bored and shows with all its appearance that now it is its aviary. Theoretically, wild animals should be afraid of machinery and machines. Huge pieces of metal that look strange, make unnatural, frightening noises, and move very fast. But practice is at odds with theory. This representative of the crow's family is a clear hater of drones and other noisy equipment. And he expresses his attitude towards them radically. The bird swoops down on the drone and starts digging into its iron and plastic insides right in the air. The goal is clear. The feathered vandal just wants to shoot down the aircraft. And we can understand him. The drone makes an annoying noise, interferes with its hunting, and simply infuriates the bird. So cases of bird attacks on drones are becoming more and more frequent every year. The reason is simple. The first shock from the appearance of these buzzing pieces of garbage in the sky has passed. The birds have actually gotten used to the fact that drones do not pose a serious threat. Therefore, they're trying to get rid of the unpleasant neighborhood. And the pilot of this drone clearly did not understand what was bothering someone, but it was too late. After a sudden fall from such a huge height, only a pile of debris remained from this car. While here it will not be possible to file a lawsuit for damage to someone else's property, because the bird does not care about it. The only positive thing is the opportunity to see the bird attack from the point of view of the victim of aggression, but without the risk of injury. Uh, don't you agree? These recordings look impressive, but you are glad that these birds aren't attacking people, but only lifeless equipment. To be honest, we are even grateful to this bird. It showed us that people should think about not polluting the sky with their toys. And how do you feel about this situation? Maybe you support the bird and on occasion would help her and shoot down the drone with a well-aimed stone throw? Or vice versa? Are you a pilot and do you like to do aerial photography? Answer in the comments, we're interested to know your opinion. You know how it happens. They couldn't miss each other on a narrow road, caught their shoulders, a sideways glance, word for word, and a fight begins. Here too, something similar happens, except that there was a swan in the role of the aggressor here. Moreover, he decided to run over a large dog, which the owner obviously brought as a defender and watchman. Who would have thought that a powerful dog with a strong grip and fighting instincts would need human protection itself? The dog is clearly in shock. It did not expect the swan to be so aggressive. At the same time, the bird is not only absolutely not afraid of the jaws of a relative of the wolf, but also clearly dominates him in terms of physical strength. Admit it, you do not expect a swan to be so big feathered. He towers over the dog like Superman over a street bully. Only the bird behaves less nobly and clearly just wants to beat the dog down with its wings. Interestingly enough, the swan does not show aggression towards a person and stops the attack when the woman covered the dog with herself. It feels like there's a dialogue between them. And the swan is trying to say something like, well, calm down your mutt before I bury her in the ground. This case is not unique at all. Here was another episode when a swan tried to purposely drown a dog. The Labrador is lucky that it belongs to fairly large breeds, loves water, and can last long enough to reach the shore under a hail of blows from the huge bird. But even he was forced to retreat in panic. The peace-loving dog clearly did not expect such a turn of events. In general, getting involved with swans is a very bad idea. Aggressive behavior for these birds is the norm, not the exception at all. Yeah, they symbolize loyalty and love quite deservedly. These birds are strictly monogamous creatures, and if one swan in a pair dies, then the second one will often remain alone forever. That's just the tender attitude swans have only to family members. They seem to hate other birds at all. If a pair of wild swans gets started on a pond, they will survive all the other birds from there. Moreover, birds may not be the competitors, rivals, or a threat at all. It's just that swans don't like to live side by side with other birds. They will attack them, drown them, ruin their nests, crush the chicks. And although the swan has no teeth, its bite is very painful. And a powerful wing strike could even stun a person. So our friendly advice, do not mess with swans. This feathered creature made such a mistake and clearly regretted it. The swan attacked him with the fury of a hungry lion. 
Even small birds can be a serious threat if they know exactly how to act together. Like these birds, they are not only brave and selfless, but also know a lot about teamwork. If they attack a snake, then one bird grabs the head and the other one grabs the tail. If they fight with another bird, they surround it, grab it with claws from different sides, and cover each other. This representative of the crow family definitely regretted that he got involved with a whole gang of small but tough opponents. Each feathered fighter knows his role, as if they work out teamwork for a long time before each hunter fights. Together, these birds are able to cope with a reptile protected by a tough hide or other prey that one bird would definitely not be able to cope with. This is one of the most unusual and unique cases of cooperation between representatives of different animal species in the wild. For a crocodile, birds are nothing more than another type of prey. In most cases, but not this time. For some strange reason, both a pair of birds and a female of a small crocodile species have arranged nests nearby each other. Surprisingly, the reptile does not show aggression towards its feathered neighbors. And there is a good reason for this. Most of the time the female hunts, and the male does not care about laying eggs at all. Another thing is birds, which are excellent parents. This monitor lizard just does not understand who he's messing with. Although he is a relatively large predator and poses a threat to birds, birds bravely rush to protect their lair. They spread their wings, slowly but inevitably attack the enemy, and drive him away. It turns out that birds protect not only their eggs, but also the crocodile's clutch. Who would have thought that these small but brave birds would become reliable bodyguards for the next generation of crocodiles? We can only hope that the reptiles that hatch from these eggs will not hunt birds. And what do you think about this case? Is it a unique accident or a new type of animal symbiosis? Share your opinion in the comments. The pelican gives the impression of a highly specialized predator, that is, an animal whose body has adapted to one particular type of hunting. The efficiency in this is very high, but it goes to the detriment of everything else. A striking example is the cheetah, who paid for speed with muscle mass so that any jackal could take away its prey. It seems that the pelican is the same narrow specialist. His leather bag under his beak is a specific tool for hunting fish. Birds either directly on the fly or while swimming scoops up water along with fish. Indeed, the effectiveness of this method is fishing is very high, but the pelican seems unable to catch other prey and looks harmless to land animals. This was a big mistake. So, this pigeon fell for such a trap. He simply just did not expect such a sudden explosion of rage and aggression from a peaceful feathered fisherman with a funny beak, and in vain. The pelican didn't have to chase the pigeon, sneak up on it, or catch it in flight. The victim simply did not expect this attack, and that is why the pigeon was caught. The leather bag became a nightmare trap for him. The pigeon struggles, tries to escape, resists, but it is all useless. Surprisingly, the pelican's beak turned out to be a suitable weapon not only for catching fish, but also for hunting other birds. The other pigeons are just shocked. They did not expect their neighbor to be such a scumbag. Rodents should never mess with these birds either. In general, the pelican will attack and try to swallow anyone. For example, these funny little buddies. Is that funny to you? Now imagine how a good natured capybara feels. This animal is used to being friends with everything in the world, and then some pelican comes along and doesn't succumb to the charms of the capybara at all, and instead of playing together and swimming, tries to swallow the animal up. Fortunately, without a single chance of success, the capybara is three times heavier than the pelican itself and does not fit into its beak. The bird attack is like a light little massage for the beast. But it's still a shame, don't you agree? As well as this waterfowl feathered friend, which the pelican tried to swallow while swimming. And again, the aggressor was left with nothing. But only because this time the victim of the attack was too big. Who knows, maybe if pelicans were bigger, even you and I would be in danger. Don't believe it? Just look at this. The pelican is absolutely not afraid of lions. 
Although these kittens are pretty young, they pose a danger to this feathered robber because they can easily overwhelm it with a pair of powerful paws. However, these lion cubs only wanted to play. But in any case, the lion cubs do not know who they're messing with. The pelican is not set up for acquaintances and gives them a powerful rebuff, threatens with its beak, beats with its wings. These are Adelie penguins, which can boast neither special size nor strength. Admit it, they even look stupid, cute, and clumsy. In the water, these birds, however, can develop tremendous speed and fish like small black torpedoes. But on land, the first impression is justified. Adelie penguins are really quite helpless. That's just the heart of a fighter beating in a clumsy body, especially if the penguin has good motivation. This is one of the most touching scenes involving birds that caught the camera lens ever. The Pomeranian gull is a very dangerous predator that literally terrorizes penguin colonies, attacks both chicks and adult birds, steals eggs, and causes huge damage to its prey. But when a huge relative to the prey and a strong predator attacked this female penguin, he did not take into account the fury with which her partner would protect her beloved. Look at this dedication. A little penguin with helpless wings furiously attacks a seagull and uses his whole body like a cannonball. A ramming attack is risky for a male, but he doesn't care about the danger when his lady is in trouble. This bird is shocked by such a rebuff. His beak unclenches into the predator retreats. Finally, the couple reunites and gently huddles together. Admit it, this triumphant scene looks incredibly cute, doesn't it? One of the funnest and therefore famous cases of punishment of an impudent person connected with birds that ever has been captured by a camera lens. A huge eagle is having lunch when a heron with a long, thin beak passes by its cage. The heron sees that they are separated from the predator by a barrier that guarantees her safety. The brazen bird did not come up with anything better than trying to steal the food from a larger and stronger predator, counting on this protection, and this was a big mistake. The eagle seemed to expect this and instantly grabs the huge paw with sharp, curved, sickle-shaped claws right behind the heron's beak. Interestingly enough, the eagle does not try to finish off its impudent attacker. It does not break the heron's neck, does not hit her in the eyes and throw with his powerful curved beak. He just holds her long enough for the heron to regret this act. This is a lesson that the cheeky bird will remember forever. A hyena can one-on-one -on -one cope with a wildebeest, maim a leopard, deal with the cheetah, and take prey from a young lioness. The arrogance and cruelty of the spotted predator is combined with the enormous strength of the jaws with which the hyena can break the shin bones of adult zebras. But this hyena clearly overestimated its capabilities when it decided to run over an ostrich. The story that in case of danger, this bird species hides its head in the sand is a strange and stupid myth. In fact, if an ostrich is in danger, it gives such a tough rebuttal to its enemy that it remains just for him to hide and run away. Although this type of bird belongs to the flightless ones, they should not be underestimated. The main weapon of the ostrich is incredibly powerful legs. One well-aimed blow from an adult male can break the spine of a large predator like a wild dog. When the hyena attacked the ostrich, it immediately regretted it. The bird didn't waste a second. She just ran straight at the enemy. And the hyena freezes in shock. She was waiting for the opposite to happen. Fortunately, the predator managed to lie down and cover his head. The ostrich ran over the hyena, inflicted a series of powerful blows on different parts of the body, but did not finish it off and just ran away. The hyena is in shock. A strange bird suddenly turned into a lively tornado, punched, and escaped unpunished. This predator obviously won't want to attack ostriches anymore. Bald eagles are one of the best warriors among all birds. They are not only very strong, but also like to fight with other clawed burrs. Eagles are aggressive, bold, violently pounce on competitors, and it seems sometimes they do not need a reason at all to attack another predator. It would seem that such a mighty and brave bird can feel safe anywhere. Moreover, in its own huge nest, arranged so high on the top of the tree that it is even difficult to get up there. 
but the bald eagle clearly underestimated its enemy, the huge owl. This nocturnal predator is so brave and desperate that it can be the first to, to attack an eagle right at home. Perhaps this is a revenge. Day and night, birds of prey are direct rivals, so they often attack each other. Judging by the behavior of the owl, this eagle clearly caused her some problems. How else are you supposed to explain the purposefulness and aggression with which the owl searches for and then promptly attacks the enemy? The bald eagle has excellent fighting skills with other birds of prey, even without acceleration and without using flight. Few eagles are able to fight so coolly using only their claws and beak. Except the eagle didn't know who he was messing with. Although a daytime predator can spot prey at an altitude of several miles, see the reflections of fish scales in the glare of the water, react to any enemy movement with lightning speed, all these superpowers disappear in the dark. Because the eagle's eyes have no night vision mode at all. According to some reports, this bird, oddly enough, at night he sees worse than a man. That's when the owl's finest hour begins. She attacks the eagle and easily dodges its retaliatory attacks, which the bird is forced to carry out almost blindly. But the owl perfectly sees the weak points of the enemy, knows where to hit it, and mercilessly attacks its enemy. As a result, the owl just threw the eagle out of its own nest. If the eagle had not managed to catch its claws on the lower branches at the very last moment, it would have collapsed to the ground. This time, the owls are already defending their home from the invasion of one of the daytime predators. This falcon flew into the nest, not understanding who it was dealing with. Not only that, even one owl can give him a serious rebuttal, so there were also two of them. Breaking into their home was a huge mistake. The most curious thing is how the birds behaved. The owls attacked the enemy ruthlessly and aggressively, but at the same time they acted very carefully so as not to damage the chicks, not to allow the enemy to injure themselves, and not to, to touch each other. It's pretty smart, isn't it? But that's not all. Pay attention that most of the time the owls just kept the opponent in the corner. They pressed the insolent occupier to the fence and forcefully squeezed its paws. Cautious but painful attacks of owls alternated with real intimidation. Just look at how shocked the falcon is. He did not expect that instead of defenseless chicks of the enemy, he would receive both adult birds as enemies. And even in a confined space where there is no sense from the speed of a daytime predator. The grip strength of owls is enormous, and their sickle-shaped claws, although inferior to the weapons of some golden eagles, are still stronger and sharper than that of this falcon. It's hard to say what exactly was the main motivation of the owls, but it seems that they are mocking its enemy, intimidating him, and deliberately bringing him to the hysteria so that he remembers this for the rest of his life. Breaking into someone else's home is a very bad idea. Interestingly enough, after enjoying the helplessness of the enemy, his fear and defeat, the owls let him go. And as a result, all the birds remain alive, but the falcon will never forget this lesson. Any top of the coolest fighters of the animal world will be incomplete without... No, not a lion and not a bear, but of course these are brave fighters. They fight with other predators and can single-handedly attack herbivores three to four times larger than themselves. It seems who could be cooler? The answer is the goose. Just look at how this bird, weighing as much as a domestic cat, chases a gorilla, which is about 15 times more massive. The huge primate wandered around his enclosure like the owner of the grounds, solidly, calmly, and confidently. It seems that he is trying to assert himself when he wants to drive away a goose that has accidentally flown in, and this was a big mistake. The bird reacts instantly. It perceives any sideways glance in its direction as an invitation to a fight. And this is a real holiday for the goose. The bird does not care how huge and strong the opponent is. It attacks by spreading its wings and making a frightening hiss. And the gorilla is shocked by such courage. It could have just crushed the bird with one crushing blow of its fist, but instead the primate runs away in panic. And the goose is not happy. It wants to fight and it chases the helpless giant monkey, which one-on-one -on -one can give battle to any heavy predator. 
just not an ordinary goose who doesn't even take the enemy seriously and mocks him. The goose doesn't run away, doesn't try to be higher than the enemy. He's attacking him right from the ground. After such humiliation, the role of the leader of the gorilla clan does not shine on this primate. If you think this is the only such case, you are mistaken. Here a goose attacks an entire herd of ungulates. The weight of each individual cow is approaching half a ton. But although the enemy is almost a hundred times larger, more massive and almost invulnerable to goose attacks, he gives in to the brave bird. The funniest thing is how cows try to butt heads with a bird without making any effort to the end. That is, they only touch the goose with their heads, but do not trample it, do not ram it, otherwise they would understand that the resistance of the feathered aggressor is easy to break. But instead of decisive actions, cows choose to tread on the spot. Here one of them pretends to rush at the enemy, but when the goose does not flinch, the cow immediately retreats. It is unclear whether the goose has figured out the bluff of its opponents or he is really as cool as the rock. What do you think? Just to look at how the cows are trampling and causing clouds of dust, while the goose behaves calmly and instantly attacks as soon as he sees that his enemies are emboldened. And the ungulates are close to panic. Goose bites are unpleasant, but they cannot pose a threat to the life or health of such large creatures. They do not understand their advantage and are afraid of a much less powerful animal only because it demonstrates reinforced concrete confidence in its abilities. Have you ever experienced similar cases, but already in communication with people? When self-confidence saved you in seemingly hopeless situations? If yes, then share your story in the comments. When they talk about the most dangerous and cool birds, they usually mean eagles, falcons, and sometimes owls. Of course, this is logical. Powerful curved claws and beaks are really able to cope with serious prey. Eagles can hunt large ungulates like mountain sheep, falcons accelerate to the speed of a bullet, and with one blow can break the victim's neck, even if it is twice as large as the predator. Owls are able to fly silently, so at night their hunting for helpless prey is more like a trip to the supermarket, where a feathered predator simply collects food that cannot fight back. But there are other cool birds that are underestimated in vain. For example, herons. These shorebirds live on different continents and have become quite successful predators in their habitat. They prepare to settle closer to reservoirs. Although most of them do not have the habit of swimming in water for a long time, like ducks or geese, herons feel great in shallow water, as well as at shallow depths. With strong clawed legs, they also have mighty wings, allowing herons to take off almost instantly if necessary. They are thin-legged, with an elongated neck, beautiful plumage that casts a blue long straight beak. In general, it seems that these birds are just part of the swamp fauna, which are capable of catching a maximum of large frogs. And it's not like that. Many animals underestimate the blue heron and pay the highest price for its mistake. For example, this eagle tried to take away a prey from a heron, a newly caught fish. Another bird, at the mere appearance of a large daytime predator, would immediately retreat, but not a heron. It immediately rebuffed the eagle. It spread its huge wings and the heron attacked the robber and almost deprived him of its eyes. In general, the main weapon of the heron is its sharp, straight beak, which acts like a sword. The bird twists its neck and then abruptly straightens it and directs a fairly strong blow at the target. All its power is concentrated on the tip, which makes the penetrating force of the heron's beak greater than the force of the beak of a large eagle. In addition, experience also plays a big role. Herons hunt agile and fast prey, for example, they punch swimming fish with their beak, grab fast amphibians and reptiles. So it is not surprising that this large bird can, for example, instantly deal with an adult duck. For her, the heron was just another neighbor that the duck inadvertently let get too close. The result is that the heron inflicted critical damage to the victim in a couple of blows and is already preparing to swallow such a satisfying prey. 
Herons also hunt dangerous and large reptiles like venomous snakes that live in swamps and near the shores of reservoirs. A variety of vipers can be a serious danger because the bite of such a snake is a guaranteed cardiac arrest for the bird. But these reptiles clearly underestimated the speed of the impact of the heron's beak. Interestingly enough, the way the bird attacks the enemy is quite similarly to the attack of the snakes themselves. Before throwing, you need to twist your neck to accumulate maximum energy in the muscles and shoot the main weapon forward. As you can see, the speed of the beak shot from a heron is often higher than the speed of a snake's throw. The duels between two herons also looks brutal. Two elegant birds try to keep their balance with the help of their wings, and exchange crushing, stabbing blows with their beaks, crowd each other, and violently attack. For such duels, they often choose places with a shaky and unstable surface, for example, viscous mud on the shore, a tangle of thin branches of bushes, shallow water. Every bird wants to take advantage of the place 100%, so it tries to throw the enemy off the branches, make him get bogged down in a swamp, or even drown. After a powerful stabbing blow, the heron can bite the enemy. The strength of the bird's grip is unexpectedly great, and most importantly, such a bite causes terrible pain to the victim. In addition, herons during a flight with their own kind often fly up to a low altitude to exchange sharp, quick blows of their claws. The claws, although short, are sharp, and most importantly, the heron's legs are very strong, so each hit on the enemy is like a blow with a small hammer. But such duels not only allow the birds to find out who will defend this or that reservoir, but also to train their fighting skills. Long observations have shown that the heron menu is one of the most diverse among birds. Although most of the time they leisurely walk through shallow water in search of fish and other animals in the water, this is just a way to lull the attention of potential prey. What kind of prey? Yeah, any kind. A heron can attack anything that moves, so long as the prey can be swallowed whole. Rodents often do not see a serious threat in a bird slowly wandering through the swamp. And the heron catches and eats rats, mice, and other small animals without any problems. For example, a heron can ruin a rabbit den. These little fuzzy creatures look so cute, don't they? But not for the heron. In the opinion of this feathered omnivorous monster, small rabbits are more of an appetizing snack than good-natured neighbors in their habitat. If there is already a cat in the house, and the owners also have a bird, of course, there are concerns whether such pets will be able to get along. Or will the cat just look at the parrot just as prey? Well, as you can see, this little predator has clearly messed with the wrong bird. The parrot opens up the box and honestly just wants to meet and make friends with the cat. And when he gets hit on the beak, he closes the box. It's simple. A large parrot is a strong and intelligent enough bird to take care of itself. Moreover, the way they show cats that it is better not to conflict with them looks pretty funny. Here the acquaintance clearly did not work out. The cat almost knocked the parrot off the sofa with a couple of heavy blows. But instead of trying to hide from the predator with the help of its wings, the parrot goes into close combat. He attacks the offender himself and shows the cat that he demands respect for himself. But the coolest of all, of course, is this parrot. He decided to establish contact with his neighbors not by force, but thanks to his communication skills. Although this parrot is quite large and can even be dangerous for one cat due to its large and powerful beak, here the numerical advantage is not on the side of the feathered ones. It understands this and apparently is trying to negotiate. The cats are shocked. Interestingly enough, according to some sources, Meowing is not at all the native language of cats that purr or hiss in the wild, and they just learn to meow just for us to attract our attention. It turns out that the parrot copies sounds intended for humans to communicate with animals with their help. Of course, the parrot is not aware of the confusion it caused. It just uses its talent for an onomatopoeia to avoid conflict. But can you imagine just how shocked these cats were? But the unexpected move gave its results. They didn't even try to attack the parrot and just sort of look at it with some kind of admiration. 
It seems that a little bit more, and they will be accepting the feathered one into their family. Which case, when the birds gave an impressive rebuff or unexpectedly showed their strength, impressed you the most? Let us know in the comments section, and do not forget to subscribe to see our videos more often.